Welcome back to Rock Solid Motorsports. Today we're going to do a walk around inspection and a test drive to show you lights working on this awesome 1984 Mustang GT convertible 20th anniversary edition GT350. And these cars are pretty rare. They of the convertible GT350s they only made 1213 in 1984. And this here is a very nice driver quality example of these cars with the 5 liter V8 under the hood and in that correct white paint with the red accents and red interior that were unique to these GT350s and the correct GT350 stripes. This is just an awesome piece of just Mustang and Fox body history. I've always been a huge fan of these Fox bodies and this one is just a great car. Real excited to do this test drive. So speaking of which, we'll go grab those cameras and take it for a test drive. Those doors for a Fox body are super solid. They close so well. Awesome. So yeah, now we're going to go for a test drive in that awesome 1984 20th anniversary Mustang GT350. And I'm so thankful for air conditioning today. Oh, for sure. That little 302 fires right up. Nice and easy, no weird noises. Transmission goes into gear just like it should. Yeah, the odometer is only showing 53,155 miles. And I believe um, the Carfax lends itself to that's the original miles. The title's exempt, probably because of the age. But so, but according to the Carfax, it looks like that's the original miles. And if you know any of these 80s fours, if you look at the odometer, if it's perfectly straight, 99% chance that the odometer is not rolled over because they end up not being in sync with each other. Plus the body on this car does not look like a car that's had that no. many miles. It looks like a, especially the interior, it looks like a nice little mild box body. And the car just drives very nice, very mechanically sound, very smooth running, easy driving that power steering. I mean, it it's very effortless. Transmission just smooth through all the gears. I've always liked these early Fox bodies. Oh yeah, me too. Tyler and I have both had a number of Fox bodies over the years, and we really appreciate these cars. And, um, it's just a really nice, and it's better than a driver quality car. Yes, yeah. but it's a nice driver quality car. And Tyler touched on the body. The floors and the frame rails on this car, the tour boxes, are in excellent condition. If you look at them, this car does not have any of that typical Fox body issues. No. Uh, it's, it's a nice car. And actually, for an 84 convertible, they're very, I don't, actually, I haven't heard them, like, rattle. I know, these interiors normally have quite a bit of rattling to them. Yeah, I know, it's very tight on the inside, and actually, the top of the seal pretty well. So I'm only getting a hint of window is behind me. I am too, just back by like at the quarter window. But at like 50, 55 miles an hour, it's nice and quiet. Yeah, it's very yeah. comfortable. And the AC is starting to, to catch up. Yeah, which is with the yeah. 90 some degree day we have today. Exactly. So Yeah, exactly. But all my gauges are working. I mean, amp, temp, oil pressure, fuel, my factory tack and speedo. Cruise control works. It does. Uh, wipers work, turn signals, all the lights that you'll see, including the fog lights, the factory fog lights. Yeah. The factory AM FM cassette radio works. Now the cassette we haven't tried. Yeah. The FM radio works and the optional amp. It does. Yeah, that and works. Yeah, fog lamps over here. Well, if Dad said that. All four power windows. Mm -hmm. Power top. Yeah. yeah, this interior is way above average condition. It has a very nice interior. With the exception of some mild discoloration, I can't I think that's over here, <laughs> over there. And nice like, it's got a couple cracks in the speaker covers, which is pretty common on these Fox bodies. Yeah. But it's handling the roundabout very well. Bake for a second. 
shut the AC off, give this five liter fighting chance. This car's got a nice tone, a nice deep, rich tone to it. to do is just enjoy and maintain this car yes you don't have to buy it well i gotta fix this and fix that and fix that it's uh, it's just a nice originally maintained car just a good no excuses classic yeah and yeah it's just it's turnkey ready take it to a cruise in and i mean it's a fairly rare car on top of that and that's yeah. just been a great year for the fox body it's a 20th anniversary edition one of the two Special editions offered in the 84 Ford off the SVO and this 20th anniversary. And no VIPs in the 84. Yeah, but they were. Yeah. Yeah. Anyways, they only made it about well, they only made it about 1,213 in the, with the five liter and the convertible in these GT350 20th anniversaries. So not only are you gonna have a nice clean Fox body, I mean it's gonna be nice and rare. People are not gonna see them so often. There's a lot of people that didn't realize they made a GT350 in 84. Oh, that's cool. I think. Yeah. The, that just that stripe and that decal adds so much to this car it makes it cool absolutely so yeah yeah definitely stick around watch the walk around inspection i mean this car's i mean it has been driven 50 some thousand miles so it does have a few little uh stone chips here and there but everything on this car is extremely minor this car the bottom side is very nice yeah, body. check out those pictures the bottom side is very clean absolutely so yeah definitely stick around so now that we're done with the test drive, we're going to move on to the walk-around inspection portion of the video. And this is, like I said, a very nice driver example of these 84 GT350s. So it's going to have a little defects just from being driven, but really not bad. Everything on this car is very minor. But coming into the driver's, we'll start with the glass. Your front windshield is in excellent condition. Um, you might have one or two very minor stone chips but the windshield surrounds in very good condition nice and straight it does have some minor stone chips here and there but really not bad the front by the cowl does have some little sun wear pretty common on this generation yeah probably. there's a little bit of wear next to the cowl yeah so and there's another one right there while we're here benefit from a repaint that still it does. It shows very well. It's coming into the driver's side front fender. I mean, your fender emblem is in very good condition. Your trim, red trim piece is in excellent condition. You do have some minor stone chips down below the GT350 rocker stripe. It's kind of typical on these Fox bodies from being driven. But the Pony 5-star wheel is in very good condition with only minimal age showing wrapped in brand new hand cooked tires do have one little touch up there on the fender but the rest of the fender is very straight no other real defects to note your trim is in, is nice and straight the red stripe is complete side marker is in very good condition you do have a minor crack in that one 
driver's side of the hood is in very good condition, very straight, no dents to note. Might be, oh, that was dirt. <laughs> so, it may not be. But uh, your headlight baskets are in very good condition. It seems to be like some dirt. dirt from the drag. Yeah. But your headlights are nice and clear. Your front grille is in very good condition. There is some discoloration around a couple of the spokes, maybe some paint chipping off. Ford emblem showing just a hint of age to it. And around you have some minor paint cracking down along the trim on the front of the car, which is pretty common. And that red stripe has got some age to it. It does. But your passenger side headlight basket's in very good condition. Again, headlights are nice and bright. Your marker lights are in very good condition. It does have the lower fog lamps. Coming into the passenger side of the hood, you do have some scratching, probably about yay long. It's like about four inches, maybe. Yeah. Um, it's just some dirt. The rest of the hood is nice and straight. Uh, on this side of the cow, not seeing the paint damage we saw on the other side. But again, cow showing some minor age, but really not bad. Top of your fender is nice and straight with no defects. Come into the side of the bumper. There is a little bit of wear on the outside of the trim. And maybe some minor scuffing just above it on the bumper and above that marker. But this wheel, very comparable to the driver's side front. And they're very good. I wouldn't call them excellent, but they're no, very, very good. good. These Pony 5 Stars are always a good looking wheel on these Fox bodies. There is one little touch up here. Again, Pony Founder emblem is in very good condition. I think we might have some minor touch ups. Touch -ups there. Another little rub behind the fender. I think we missed one touch up. We did. Yep. On the top of the fender. So it's right there. But the passenger side of the glass is in very good condition. And this actually might be a good angle because of how this is slow. But there is, on these Fox bodies, these speakers are prone to just cracking in the speaker holes. Yeah, there's, so, some, there's a little bit of discoloration. discoloration. So I think the driver's side and the passenger side speaker holes both have some cracks in them. They do. I think the center of them is, they might have a really tiny one. Very tiny. It's, Probably the but your mirrors are in very good condition. GT350 rocker stripes in very good condition. Rockers you might have like a little ding there. I think there is a minor ding in the door right here. Probably pulled out with some paint and stent removal. There's some, some stone minor chipping. Chips in. Down low. There's a little touch up there. There might be another little guy here. But very minor. Your side glass is in excellent condition. You might have some, or very good condition. You might have some scratching in this one. Um, the trim surrounding is showing a little bit of age. But coming into the car, you see the doors are nice and solid. No rust issues. And the interior in this car is in very good condition. As you're about to see. Well above average for one of these generation Fox bodies. But it is lower miles, like 53,000 and change. And what's nice is, well, they tied that off, but that elastic always, a couple little pimples in the armrest, always wears. Other than the, you can see the speaker cracks there. But other than what we just pointed out, the dash is straight, in very good condition. You got your 20th anniversary emblem. Your carpet throughout the car is nice and dark red, in very good condition. Your door jams are very solid. The car was z barded new. Or or is it Rusty Jones? It's been rust proof anyway. I don't know what brand it was, but your passenger side front seat is in very good condition. 
both your sun visors are in very good condition. Your convertible top frame is in excellent condition. And the top itself, you'll see here in a minute, is just is in very good condition. You do have a couple minor holes in that panel right there. The rear seat is in excellent condition. No tears. Really no staining. But your convertible top is in excellent condition. Nice and white. No holes or pinch marks to note. It does have the rear glass, which is always nice. Um, and coming back to the door, there is no play in the hinge pins. Um, that's real common on these Fox bodies. Just kind of shows the level of care that this car has received. And coming into the rear quarter, not really see any defects to note. So far there's a little scratch there above the wheel well. The rest of the quarter is nice and straight and clean. Might, there's a couple stone chips down below behind the back tire, which again, very common as Fox bodies since the tires protrude past. The rear passenger wheel, again, very comparable to the front too. In very good condition. Your surround, your kind of the, I guess the surround here around the top is in very good condition, very straight. It is showing some age. Really not bad for, for the age of the car. Rear bumper covers in very good condition. You do have some kind of scratches. And your red trim again is showing some age. The red strip in the bumper trim. There's a little scuff here. Driver side rear tail lights in very good condition, nice and clear. Passenger side's very clear. You do have a that will probably even I might buff out a little bit. But your trunk lid's in very good condition. There's a little one little touch up there. Ford emblem. Just a hint of eight. Yeah, that might just be dirt. That might be an excellent condition. Trunk pops open just like it should and stays open. You can just kind of see inside the trunk pan there. This car is extremely solid. The bottom side of this car is very does not have any of those Fox body issues. One very solid Fox body. The trunk mat is always nice. You do have your spare tire. And, and the jack, jack is below the spare there. Mm -hmm. And tire arm. But coming over to the driver's side rear quarter, the trim is showing just a little bit of age. You have a touch up just above this one here. A couple little stone chips behind the tire. But the quarter itself is nice and clean. You got one little chip here. There's a couple touch ups on the lip of the fender or the quarter here. And one a little smaller than a dime there, but just a minor age. I mean, everything on this car is very minor and cosmetic. They do have some chips along the back side of the driver's door. The driver's side rear wheel is in very good condition again. The driver's side of your top, again, in excellent condition. Nothing really to note there, other than how nice it is. Driver's side glass is all in very good condition. Nice, put some spray on it. But your, again, your window surrounds are showing a little bit of age. Very minor, but worth noting. Driver's side door is nice and straight. You do have some scratching just above the door handle. A couple little stone chips here in the door. Other than that, no. The paint shines very well. It does. I always like the cosmetics on these 20th anniversaries. I mean, the very minor things that we're showing you are... People are going to have to get up on the car to notice. Might be a little bit of... Maybe even a bump right there. There is a small bit down here, right here, just next to me. And a little touch up here. 
We're just trying to be thorough. Good coming inside. Again, the door is extremely solid. And the driver's side door panel, very comparable to the passenger side. It's in very good condition. All the carpets are nice and deep red. Driver's side door jam. See those rust proofing plugs. So really the driver's seat's the only one that shows any amount of wear. And it's just right here on this piece of cording on that bolster. Come into the car. You'll see the dash. You'll see a couple of those little cracks that Tyler was talking about in the driver's side speaker. But the dash is nice and straight. Your gauges that all work. The factory AM FM radio with the amp and the amp works. Your little information center. The factory steering wheel with built-in cruise control. Your fog lamp switch. Your center console is in very good condition, including the armrest. into the back seat again. The driver's side of the seat is in excellent condition. Down low you got one small imperfection there and then up top here you got a couple imperfections again. Very minor. Again, no play in the driver's side door. Engine pins door closes nice and tight like it should. Coming in under the hood, you'll see a very stock and unmolested 302, very tidy engine bay. It has not been detailed out, I mean, it's just... No. It's nice and original. Both shock towers, extremely solid. Again, this car does not have any of the problem area. Problem issues that tend to plague these Fox bodies. Tyler will fire it up. And Show us some lights working. The five liter comes to life just like it should. No funny noises. No ticking. that are just, just purr. It's got a great sound to it. See the running lights, brake lights, driver side turn signal, passenger side turn signal. And reverse lights. I'm going to show you the top working. Oh, yeah. All four power windows work. The 
top goes up and down just like it should, no excuses. market just for a very nice driver quality Mustang convertible or even just one of these rare 20th anniversary Mustang 84 GT 350s you're definitely going to want to take a close look at this car it's a rock solid example of these rare box bodies and definitely one that you just don't see every day so don't miss out rock solid motorsports